1981 film, The Fun House. This is one that got another blue... It got a Blu-ray release in 2011, and it kind of got more interest into it. And it was done by a big-name director, even though it's a somewhat forgotten film. Even though everyone in the horror community knows about it. But outside, casual horror fans don't really know about it. Toby Hooper is the director of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then he went on to do Poltergeist right after this. So, what's this film all about? It follows a group of four teenagers like on a double date going to the local carnival or fair. And they kind of like dick around, you know, kind of like the kids in Death House. So it gets kind of old. Actually, the whole first half is what you like. It's The pace is kind of good and it keeps you interested. They go to like a magic show and they like smoke weed behind like a tent kind of like the kids from house of death too and eventually they still they get kind of lost in this one fun house and then they kind of lose their way and then they kind of look down and peek into a room where like the circus freaks are like hang out or whatever and one of them's like this mutated monster named gunther Who's the main character, the main villain of the film. And there's no point in really getting into much detail, but... Because I don't really want to ruin it for anyone. There's really not much to talk about after this. They kind of like get stuck inside the fun house. And then it's kind of like a cat and mouse game of completely dark filler of absolutely nothing. Awesome concept. Could have been expanded upon. Eli Roth once wanted to do a, a remake of this back in the late 2000s when it was still a craze. But that never came through, and he has so many projects on his plate now, I don't think that'll ever happen, at least not anytime soon. But there probably will be a Funhouse remake eventually. But because of the second half lagging so much and there's not much to interest the viewer. That's why I have to give it a C overall. Could have been better. Still a pretty decent film done by talented people in an era where a lot of these slasher films were just done by rejects just looking to cash in, obviously. But this monster is awesome. Awesome effects. He's scary alone. That's why a lot of people love it, just because of him. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say on the Funhouse 1981. I'm out. Thanks for watching.